welcome back to the channel today we are going to be making a, a platter on the lathe um i've glued up a few pieces of wood together um i believe this is the feeling maybe um i'm just going to take the compass roughly find the center knock some of the corners off so semi round i don't have a band saw so i can't fully make it round but it'll make it a little bit easier on the tools and the lathe so come along and see how we'll get on so I kind of tend to work a bit in chaos, but all I'm going to do is take the calipers, roughly try and find the centre mark. Uh, too wide. <laughs> so I've found roughly the centre that way, centre that way, and all I'm going to do is press that in, in the centre, roughly, and draw circle around and there we go I don't know if you can pick that up possibly and then if you really want to do you could take a pencil and just go over the line to make it a little bit more easy to see but I'm all right there all right so I've attached a face plate I've took some corners off to make it sort of rounder to make it a little bit easier on the lathe um also if you're interested i've got some pen blanks gluing up here i could make a video on these to start to get tacky now and i could go through that with you so i'm quickly just going to tell you what i've done and what i've got here so i've got the bow blank attached with the face plate and then that's just attached to the chuck i've also got the tail stock pulled up um, just for that extra bit of support and I've also turned the speed right down because it is quite unbalanced and I don't really want to take any unnecessary risk so I'm going to start roughing it out um, I haven't got all the tools in the world but I'm going to use what I've got um, I've got a quarter inch bow gouge I know it's a little bit small for this size blank and I'm almost maxing out this lathe but let's see how it goes one last thing before I start turning, give your blank a good spin, make sure it doesn't hit your tool rest and remove any jewellery, watches, anything like that because if you get a catch, you know, you it could be quite a serious, serious injury. Um, I like to try and keep this video nice and light but it, it's not worth the risk. And wear PPA too, your lungs and your eyes are very important. So at the minute the lathe's going nice and slowly, I probably sound just a little bit weird because I'm wearing respirator and um, face shield but at the top you can see there's ghosting um, and that means it is quite untrue and you can even see the wobble so take it nice and slow and we'll get started. So we're starting to get the corners now, now off and it's starting to look more round. This process would make it a lot easier if I had a band saw and I was able to cut it into a round and then just chew it off on the lathe. But I can't do that because um, I don't have a band saw so just keep chipping away until we get it perfectly round. So a trick I learned off the Welsh Woodman is if you put the tip of your bow guard, well, the back of it, if there's any bouncing like that, that means it's untrue. If it's nice and flat like that, it means it's nice and round. So we've got a little bit more to go over here and then we'll be good. So I 
as you can see we've got it nice and round now it didn't take that long so i'm going to turn the tool rest down and flatten off the bottom of the bowl I've gotten the, the bottom quite flat now so all I need to do is I'm going to cut the little mortise on the bottom um, I know I need to be about feet two so I'm going to roughly take it to the centre um, that there and then I'm going to cut that out with a parting tool Alright, so I've got the mortars cut now and all I need to do is try and take some of this corner off to get it into a, a smooth rounded ball. Just finished the outside the 400 grit now i'm just going to put some oil on it and um, i'm using osmo and i'm just using a little paper towel to apply it um so i'm just going to rub on by hand and then turn the lathe on just to get it really into the grain So I've been quite busy the last few hours. Um, I've knocked up four pens. Um, I finished the wax and the oil on the bowl, and it is looking really nice at the moment. Um, so now I turn the inside. some really messy work um i'm just gonna crack ahead sand it finish it and then i'll show you the final ball so the video doesn't get too long and there we go the finished ball it, it looks really nice the colors are lovely um and that's my ball for the day i've also made a few pens so it, it's been go 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 um can i please just add that wood turning can be very dangerous and please don't take this as a how to um i'm just documenting my journey with wood turning um and maybe somebody would like to watch it but please don't do everything that i do 
just watch enjoy and make sure if you do want to get in the wood turn and maybe take a course or something or join a little club and then people can critique your um method because it can be dangerous catchers and flying wood off the the truck it, it, it is very dangerous so learn how to do it properly but this is my bowl for today um i hope you like it thank you for watching